is Srila Prabhupada, people often ask. At various times, he was known as a scholar, a philosopher, a cultural ambassador, a prolific author, a religious leader, a spiritual teacher, a social critic, and a holy man. He was not one of those modern entrepreneurial gurus who come to the West with slickly packaged, watered-down versions of Eastern spirituality, promising instant well-being to anyone who could spare fifty dollars. Srila Prabhupada was rather a true holy man, one who could be called an acharya, which means a spiritual master who teaches by example. After arriving in the United States in 1965 at the age of 69, Srila Prabhupada formed the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, which developed into a worldwide spiritual community with hundreds of ashrams, schools, temples and farms, and with thousands of dedicated disciples who made Hare Krishna a household word. To have achieved all this in only 12 years was remarkable. But before he passed away from this world in 1977, Srila Prabhupada had also written and published over 80 volumes of translation and commentary on the great spiritual classics of ancient India. His books were welcomed with great critical acclaim by the Western academic community and by scholars from India as well, and they became standard texts in almost every university and library around the world. Srila Prabhupada had also succeeded in transmitting the profound wisdom of the ancient Vedic culture in a form and style that was clearly understandable to the average modern man. He could somehow explain even the most difficult philosophical concepts to people who were totally unfamiliar with the complex Indian religious tradition. Srila Prabhupada circled the globe 11 times between 1966 and 1977, and everywhere he went, he taught the same basic truths, the fundamental principles of religion that constitute the cornerstone of spiritual understanding for everyone, no matter what their nationality or religion. Srila Prabhupada was, more than anything, a teacher, a professor emeritus of the science of self-realization. And he was the best kind of teacher, because he always lived up to what he taught. They also say that no one can ever be pure, that everyone is doomed to be well, a sinner. Well, that is Atobat Mannate Jagat. That is the conditioned soul's qualification, that he is a fool, he thinks other are fools. Everyone, he thinks he is like me. That is nature. Everyone thinks others like himself. If he's a fool, he thinks all others. So these things are no argument. Nobody has seen God. How do you take these statistics? Can you say like that, any statistics that nobody has? Maybe we have not seen him, but has seen God. That is quite possible because we have not scrutinized, studied all the men of the world. Yes. Then how we can say nobody has seen? You have not seen the man who has seen him. So the man. He will not admit his fault. He will accuse others. Nobody has seen that. Why? You may not have seen, but why you say nobody has seen? You have not seen that person who has seen God. Therefore you say like that.
जय राधा माधव कुहारी जय राधा माधव शोदानंदन व्रजन रंजन जशोदानंदन व्रजन रंजन जमुना तीर बन छी गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरी बरधारी गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरी बरधारी शोदानंदन व्रजन रंजन शोदानंदन व्रजन रंजन राधा कृष्ण मोह गोपना शाम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी भोजन की जाए वृंदावन धाम की जाए नवदीप धाम की जाए गंगा माई की जाए जमुना माई की जाए गुरु द्वारका धाम की जाए स्वामी तो भक्तविंद की जाए ऑल ग्लोरी टू जैस ऑल ग्लोरी टू जैस थैंक यू वेरी मच The child is changing his body to baby. The baby is changing his body to boy, uh, and the boy is changing his body to youthful. Then. In this way, you are changing body. That you have got experience. You had a child's body. You remember, or you had a boy's body. You remember, but the body is no longer existing. But you are existing. Therefore, the conclusion is that when this body will be no more fit for existing, we shall have to accept another. This is called tatha dehan tara prati. So we have to change. That is nature's law. 
The soul is immortal. Najayati nam yate va kadhachit, nahannate hannamane sarire. The soul is not finished, simply a particular type of body being finished. No. The people do not know it. <coughs> and because they are simply engaged in sinful activities, their brain has become so dull that they cannot understand the simple truth that as you are changing body in this life, therefore you will change this body to another life. This is very simple truth. But at the advancement of material civilization we have become so dull and rascal that we cannot understand. Sarvapādhi vinimuttam tat paratena nirmalam rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti rucha. This bhakti means that we have to clear ourselves from the designation. What is that designation? Everyone is thinking, I am American, I am Indian, I am European, I am Australian, I am cat, I am dog, I am this, I am that, body. We have to cleanse this bodily conception of life, that I am not this body. Aham Brahmasmi, I am spirit soul. This you have to realize. Then there will be no distinction. And here is an American, here is an Australian, here is a Hindu, here is a Muslim, here is a tree, here. No. Pandita samadarsina. <coughs> Pandita means learned, one who knows things as they are. For them, vidya vinaya sampanne brahmane gavi hastini suniche cha sapake cha. Pandita samadarsina. A person very learned, vidya, and very gentle. Vidya means educated, means he is gentle, sober. He is not rogues and ruffian. That is vidya. That is the taste of education. He must be very educated, sober, and silent. That is called gentleness. Therefore, this human form of life should be properly utilized not simply engage in sense gratification like cats and dogs. That is not very responsible life. Responsible life is that I have got this imp- improved form of life uh, than the cats and dogs, and I have got more intelligence than the cats and dogs. <coughs> if I simply utilize it for four bodily necessities of life. Four bodily necessities of life means we require some eating. The cats, dogs, human <laughs> beings, or I could judge or anyone, they require some eating. They require sleeping apartment. So that is, they would, dog, cats and dogs can sleep without apartment. Uh, but the sleeping requires. That is fact. Eating required, that is fact. And sex life, that is also fact. And defense, that is also fact. But these things are common to the cats and dogs and uh, man, human being. So what is the special feature of the human being? The special feature of the human being is that a human being can consider that I have got this nice American and Australian and Indian body, then what I am going to get next? What kind of body? That is utilized for human intelligence. A cat and dog cannot think like that. Therefore our business should be now by the nature's way have come to this form of life by evolutionary process. Now I have got good intelligence. Uh, how I shall utilize it? Veda is chasadvai ahameva vedam. The whole knowledge is meant for 
understanding God. That is the end of knowledge. By progressive knowledge, you can make progress, but unless you do not come to the point to understand what is God, then your knowledge is imperfect. That is called Vedanta. Hathata Brahma Jiggasa. Actually, designation has no value. Uh, the person is uh, important, not the designation. Nature is a machine. To do thing, a machine works without an operator. Do thing. Is there any evidence? Huh? Now this is a machine, photography, a wonderful machine. It is taking the picture and it will move. But there is an operator. Where is the machine which is working without operator? Can you give any example? Here is a machine which is working without operator. So how do you think that the nature machine is working without the supreme operator, God's instruction? How do you think it? This is not very reasonable. We have to judge. There are different evidences. One of the evidence is hypothesis. That hypothesis is that because we see that no machine works without operator, therefore we should conclude it. Even though we do not know what is God, what is the nature, we must conclude it that the nature is working under some supreme operator. That is God. It is not necessary to see the operator, but we can guess that there must be operator. So human life is meant for finding out who is there to operate. That is human life. Otherwise it cats and dogs like they're eating, sleeping, mating and dancing, that's all. That is not human life. You must find out who is the operator. Athata Brahma Jigyasa. This is called in Sanskrit word. Now this human form of life is meant for inquiring about the supreme operator. Now that supreme operator, Krishna, is so kind. He is giving evidence in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya dhakse napakiti syate sacharatram. Now here I am, under my direction, the prakriti, the nature, material nature is working. Unfortunately, uh, I am thinking this is American pension pleasure. This is Indian pension. Pension pleasure is the same. It is neither American nor African. Pension pleasure is the same. So, as soon as this consciousness that I am feeling American pain, American pleasure, uh, as soon as this is over, then we come to the original consciousness. Because consciousness cannot be American or African. If I pinch you, the pain felt by you is the same when I pinch uh, the African. So therefore the consciousness is the same. Artificially we are thinking that American consciousness, African consciousness. 
Actually, that is not the position. Simply, this misunderstanding has to be cleared up. That is called Chetra Darpana Marjan. Is it not a fact? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. The, the consciousness of feeling pains and pleasure, can it be American or Indian? No. no it is the same. Artificially, we are thinking it is American pain or it is Indian pain. That is artificial. This artificial covering has to be removed. Then you come to Krishna consciousness. Uh, feelings, consciousness is not American, African, or Indian. Consciousness is the same. Hmm? When you feel hungry, is that Americans feel a different way? Hungry. <laughs> the African feels in a different way. The hungry uh, appetite is the same. Now, if you say this is American appetite and this is Indian appetite, that is artificial. So, when you do not go to the artificial platform, uh, that is Krishna consciousness. And that is explained in Narad Pancharatra. Sarvapadhi binin muktam tatparatena nirmanam. Rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhaktirishchat. When we become free from these artificial designations, American consciousness, Indian consciousness, African consciousness, there is no such thing. This is artificial. Even bird and beast, they, are, they also feel consciousness, pains and pleasure. Eh? Just like when there is scorching heat, you feel some pain. Is that American, Indian or African? Scorching heat is every <laughs> feeling. Eh? If you say that I am feeling scorching heat American way, Kyanji. Kyanji. Yes, it's not possible. Simply these are artificial. Ah. Everything is depending on consciousness. Everything depending on consciousness. Therefore, Krishna consciousness is the original standard consciousness. The big ERC 747 is Flying because the pilot is there. And the pilot is a soul powered by another bodily machine. That, that is missing point in the modern civilization. Because who is working with the machine? That they do not know. That is ignorance. It is said, you see, Bhagavad Gita, Ishara Sarvabhuta Nam Riddhese Arjuna Tishthati, Brahman Sarvabhutani Jantra Rurani Maya. Jantra means machine. Actually, they are friendly. They are a big, nice machine, computer. Without an operator, it does not work. And this huge machine is working without any spiritual touch. Just see how foolishness. They think automatically work. Nature is working automatically. Do they not think? They think there's a mind but not a soul. No, that's all right. Something is there which is working. Now that may be a mistake. You call it soul and mind. That is next understanding. But the machine is not working independent. That should be understood first. Then how the machine is working, that will be next chapter. So they have no understanding even how the machine is working.
मूरनाभिजानाति मामेभ परम भयम माया दक्षिण प्रकृति स्यते सचराज दैत्य दुनिया में मूराज So if you do not know how the machine is working, then what is the value of your education? Education means enlightenment. You do not know what is the final cause. The huge uh, body is working as nature. So many planets, so many big big. Planets like sun, moon, they are floating in the air. And who has made this arrangement? They are. We see every day. Hmm? And everyone is speculating. It is being done like this. Another philosopher comes. He does. It is like this. Another says, "It is like this." Now, so many just some other things are hidden. A philosopher is not a great philosopher if he does not defy the other philosopher. Is it not? <laughs> so this process is going on. I defy you. You defy me. That's all. But what is the real fact? Neither you know, neither I. But we write big, big articles. That is going. Just like this finger is part and parcel of my body. Whatever I am ordering, it is immediately carrying out. I say, make it like this. It it will do. So, but. This is dead matter. It is acting mechanically. The brain directs immediately the finger and it acts like machine. This whole body is just like machine, but uh, soul is not machine. Mechanical part. It is spiritual part. So therefore, as I am directing the finger, as being machine, it is working. But as is, if somebody else, a friend or servant, I may direct him to do something, he may not do it. So when this whole misuses the independence, then he falls down. That is material life. Material life means misusing the independence of soul. Just like a son, a son's duty is to obey the father, but he may not obey. That is his madness. So when this soul, misusing the independence, becomes mad. He is sent in this material world. It's <coughs> puzzling to me that one would be so foolish. Because by independence you can become foolish. Otherwise, there is no meaning of independence. Independence means you can do whatever you like. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. That. तथेच्छसि तथा कुरु माइंड आउट दिस वर्स इन द एटीन चैप्टर दैट इंडिपेंडेंस इज द आफ्टर इंस्ट्रक्टिंग द होल भगवत गीता टू अर्जुन कृष्णा गेव इन द इंडिपेंडेंस नाउ व्हाट एवर यू लाइक यू कैन डू कृष्णा नेवर फोर्स हिम To accept the teachings of Bhagavad Gita, he gave him the independence. Now, whatever you like, you can do. And he agreed. Yes. Now my illusion is over. I shall act, as you say. 
the same in the moon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> this is in the 18th chapter. Thus I have explained to you the most of these Sanskrit words. Yeah. Iti te gyanam akhyatam guya guya taramaya dhirish yaitar asheshena yate chasit tata kuru. Thus I have explained to you the most confidential of all knowledge. Deliberate on this fully and then do what you wish to do. Yeah. Now, if you say, why this soul should be, so become so foolish? So that is misuse of independence. A, a, a intelligent father has got intelligent son, but sometimes he becomes a fool. So what is the reason that the, he is this part and parcel of the father? He should have become exactly like the father, but he does not become like the father. I have seen in uh, Allahabad, uh, the big lawyer, barrister, Mr. Banerjee, his eldest son was also barrister, and his youngest son, on account of bad association, he became a ekawala. Ekawala means uh, in India, there is a carriage drawn by one horse. So he likes to be an ekala. Uh, that means he, he fell in love with a low class of woman and by her association he became an ekala. There are many instances. Therefore, it is the duty of the human being how to control the mind not act like cats and dogs. That is human being. He should be inquisitive. Why uh, this happening? Why this happening? And he should take education. That is human life. And if he does not inquire, if he does not take education, then what is the difference between him and the dog? He remains a dog. He has got this opportunity of human life. He should take advantage of understanding what is what. Not to keep himself in the dark status. Simply eating, sleeping, sex life, and defending. That is the distinction between dog and human being. If he does not become inquisitive, how to control the mind? He is not even human being. And dog never inquires. And dog, dog knows that when I bark, people become disturbed. He will never ask how to control this barking habit. <laughs> because he is dog. He cannot do that. A human being can do that. People hate me. I do some, something wrong. How to control my mind? That is human being. That is the difference between human being and dog. That's what Vedic injunction is, go and inquire. You have got this human form of life. Atata Brahma Jigyasa. Now this is the time for inquiring about the soul. Tadvigyanathamsa Guru Meva Aviyache. If you want to understand this science, then go to proper Guru and take lessons from him. The same thing as we instruct our children, if you want to be educated in the higher status of life, go to school, go to college, take lessons. That is human society. 
The dog's father will never ask the dog, child, go to school. No, the dog. Yeah. 